The Attorney General's office says last year police only identified 17 people the entire year who were trying to buy sex. Just last week, more than 160 suspected Johns were arrested and charged across the state. This operation is just the latest effort to tackle human trafficking here in Ohio. News 5's Clay Lepard takes an in-depth look at how police are targeting those who try to buy sex with penalties harsher than ever before. They're going to take me here. Yes, sir. This video provided by the Ohio Attorney General's Office highlights Operation Ohio Knows, a statewide sting bringing in more than 160 charged with trying to buy sex. I haven't seen them this is the largest operation involving the most service providers and law enforcement officers in the history of the state. Turn around. The sting comes after House Bill 431 went into effect this year. You will go to court. You can get a public defender. Part of the new law is meant to help reduce the demand for sex workers. Now those who purchase sex face a first degree misdemeanor and fine up to $1,500. The reason that human trafficking exists is because of the money and because of the demand. You're going to stand your arrest. And it's actually in Ohio now a more serious criminal offense to buy sex than to sell sex. The faces involved in this investigation are blurred. I was trafficked human traffic for 15 or 20 years. However, Annette Mango wants you to know her name. How I was beat, raped, and how I felt no one cared. And how she feels about this investigation and the new law that made it happen. Tears. It was this feeling, um, I was like, oh my gosh, after all these years, it's getting better. With the help of the Renee Jones Empowerment Center, Mango was rescued about seven years ago after years in and out of jail and prison. This is our safe place. So everything we want is in the big room. And most of the time we have seen uh, the victims be penalized again for being victims and nothing has been done for those who are taking advantage of these individuals. Nowadays, she shares her story with others. I talk to whoever want to listen, whoever want to learn. I don't care if it's one person, to many of people. Because if one person want to learn, that can be one prevention. While she spent time inside a cell, Mango says her handlers never faced the same scrutiny from the law. I still see some of them today. Nothing ever happened to them because back then they didn't believe me. It's worth noting that new law also requires those convicted to undergo human trafficking education. It's not going to happen overnight. And <laughs> look, it's happening. It's happening and I'm glad I'm, um, I'm still a part to see this. In Cleveland. It's happening and we need to keep going. Clay Lepard. Need to keep going. News 5.